Hey everybody, welcome back to this tutorial. This video I wanted to talk a little bit more about string indexing, although this time I'm not going to be telling you how to return a single character, such as printing just this letter or just this letter. I'm going to be talking about printing a range, so it could be like print these four letters, or so forth. So it's very simple to do this. The way we do this is first let's create a variable we could say, uh, yo, assign it the value Lemonade. I'll just keep lemonade for this video since I already have this little picture made. Lemonade. Alright, now when we want to print an individual character, we can just be like, let's say we want to print the E. And the indexes start 0, 1. So E is 1. We can say print 1. This should print back or bring back E. Now, what if we wanted to print a range? What we do is we use a colon after the first uh, letter, or number, sorry. So let me just bring this down here. What we could do is we could say print, sorry about that little beep if you heard that. Just editing some videos right now. So what we do is one, colon, and then we put a second number, two. So let's see what this does. You see it prints one letter back. So the way this works is the first number is where you start, the second number is where you stop. So if we increase the second number to three, you would see it prints two letters. Let me explain. Looking at the indexes, here let me get a, a little pencil. We start at one in this example, so index zero, index one, this is where we're starting, and then we go to index three, so this is two, three. You see, and it gets the range E through M. That's why it printed back E, M. But for the previous example, this one right here, you can see it printed only one character. Let me explain that one. Well, this is index 0, this is index 1. So this is where we're starting. And we want to go to index 2. We're stopping here. And it prints everything in that range. This is why you get one character. So that's why I like the indexes between concept, because if you are working where you think of characters, you think we're going to stop at index character with the index 2, 0, 1, 2. You would think it would include the M, but it actually doesn't. So that's why I like using the in between the characters index concept. But if you prefer to use characters, you just have to think it goes up to this index, but it does not include it. So it'd be like 0, 1, two, I'm sorry, zero, one, two, three, and it stopped before you reach three. So that's just uh, one little thing to think about. So that's sort of how slicing strings works. Now, uh, we can we can try it again. Let's, let's try another one just to explain this again. Let's start at four, and let's go to negative one, and it printed nad. Now let's figure this one out. So the first one, we start at index 4. So we got index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's where we're starting. And then we go up to negative 1. So we have 0, negative 1. And it prints this range, so N, A, D. That is kind of how it works. So the, the negative indexes are probably more useful for really long strings. Like let's say you wanted to get all of the characters starting at index uh, 30, and then you wanted to stop 10 characters before the last character, or like four characters for like, yeah, you, you get what I'm saying. So that's just a little example. Hopefully that was useful, and uh, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. But actually, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go, and uh, yeah, I'll just hold off for the next video. So. Oh uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe.